Welcome to the party, pal. Your friendly neighborhood master of chaos back with you once again. Tonight is a party, a double feature party to be exact. We're going to be watching the classic, well, I guess not so classic. I've never heard of them anyway. Redneck uh, with Telly Savalas and Frank Conero and Death Rage with Yo Brenner and Barbara Boucher. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Let's get the double feature started. Let's, let's kick things off with Redneck. Uh, I don't know anything about this movie. It's uh, Police Shateki, as far as I, uh, as far as I know, which is basically a Italian uh, cop drama, cop thriller, um, crime thriller kind of a deal. Let's take a look at this disc, Blu-ray. Nothing on the inside. Eh, meh. It's kind of plain. You know, no reversible slip or any insert. Just kind of a plain thing. That's a little disappointing, to be honest. Maybe I'm being too picky, but I don't know. I feel like I've, I've been spoiled by other companies. I expected a little bit more oomph on the inside, not just a plain old thing that you would get from Mill Creek or whatever. Anyway, Redneck, I'm going to pop this into the player, and then uh, let's go in the kitchen and grab a snack. What the hell are you doing in there, pal? Well, you're in the right place. thought we could have a little... Uh, Little pasta with our Italian film. What do you think about that? It's leftover ziti, gluten free ziti to be exact, but you know what? It's still good. Of course, any pasta dish is not complete without a little tradish. Yes, yes, delicious. This will go great with our Italian exploitation crime drama. Boy, Sumo can't wait. He loves pasta. I believe a little J and B is in order. All right, what cup should I use? Hmm, I normally go with something like this, but you know what? Killer Clowns cup. That'll do. One, two, three. Jesterini and Brooks. I'm gonna cut it slightly with this uh, peach pear LaCroix. Um, I don't know why, I think just because this reminds me of Telly Savalas' head. Oh, food's ready. It's looking real good, Sumo, what do you think? Looking real good. I think I need one final ingredient, fresh. Minced garlic, hell yeah, a little bit more. I love my garlic. I don't know if you know that about me, pal. I don't really mention my garlic addiction, but I love my garlic. Plus it aids in assuring my friends and family that I'm not a vampire. Mmm, oh good. That's real good, by the way, no update yet on my um, the, the, the results of my COVID test. Still waiting to hear back. Maybe by tomorrow we'll know something or the day after. They said two to three days. So today today we're playing the waiting game. Tomorrow we may know something. So um, as soon as I know, you'll know. Well, I'm checking out the menu here. And it looks like there's two different versions. Uh, Redneck and Senza Baggione. Which is the... Um, of course, the Italian version. I love the artwork on both of these. Man, I wish they had reversible slips for these. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, Redneck or Senza Baggione. Let me let me check the disc and see what the differences are. Well, it looks like the English version, uh, Redneck, has extensive color correction. And the Italian version, Senza Baggione, or Raggione, yeah, Raggione, uh, has uh, English subtitles, and that's it. So I think I'm going to go with the extensive color correction version. So... English version redneck is our choice for the evening. All right, the English version of redneck with extensive color correction. Let's do it. And away we go. Starts off with the kind of a um, jewelry heist. Telly and Franco are um, uh, they're thieves. <laughs> Oh, this is not going to go well. Mm. Mm. 
We're about 30 minutes into the film. Essentially what we have here is uh, two thugs. Um, Telly's name is Memphis. He is, uh, I guess he's the titular redneck. And then uh, Franco, uh, his name is Mosquito. They are jewel thieves. They've stolen some jewelry. And uh, the police want them. And not just for the robbery, but also because uh, they stole the car in a daring car chase. Really cool car chase. Really violent. Very exciting car chase. Their car broke down. They grabbed another car. In the back seat of the car was a diplomat's kid. So now they uh, they have a 12 year old hostage in the back seat of their car, and they're wanted felons. Um, the first 30 minutes is basically them running away from the police. So pretty tense, pretty exciting, you know, beginning to the the whole thing. I do have to mention though, the uh, the print, whatever they used here, Dark Force, to make this um, Blu-ray. It's really bad. There's a lot of damage. There's a lot of um, wear and tear from what I from what it looks like. There's a lot of um, slices, or at least what it would appear to be slices uh, in the print. Um, and uh, well, while the picture is pretty cleaned up, it looks really nice. It's also very rough looking, and the damage is evident. And it just doesn't look like they did much in terms of restoring the print. Looks like it was an HD master from Surviving Elements, so I'm going to take a wild guess that they didn't have anything good to work with, and that's why the, the version that we have here on Blu-ray is uh, damaged for a reason, because that's all they had. It's unfortunate because it kind of detracts from the movie. There's a lot of, um, you know, visible noise and things like that. There's like one spot that keeps popping up in the movie right here in the corner, and there's like this just weird, like, kind of like fuzzy thing. I'll take a picture of it to show you what I mean. This is that fuzzy damage. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's definitely film print related. Anyway, let's take a quick pause here. I'm done with my pasta, and now it's time for a little popcorn. Popcorn. Let's see what we got here, pal. Whoa, look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's all popcorn. Let's go with uh, Act 2. Microwave popcorn. This is the good shit. Any minute now, Sumo. Any minute. Well, two minutes from now. Pal, if you were to ask me what my favorite movie snack is, I would 100% say popcorn. I know it's the simple, easy answer. It's the uh, most vanilla answer there is. But man, I love me some popped corn. Love that sound. Last year at Universal Studios Horror Nights, they had a Ghostbusters maze and they were selling popcorn in this, a Ghostbusters trap. I kept the uh, container, you see the Ghostbusters logo right there. I kept this paper container and it has been my go-to popcorn bucket for a long time now. Well, for a year at least. Okay, Ray, get her, woo! Oh yeah, look at that, oh, perfect bag. Perfect goddamn bag. Ooh, yeah. All right. Got my Ghostbusters popcorn. Mmm. Very good. Very buttery. I got my sumo. I still got some drink. Let's get back to the movie. Well, I forgot to mention that um, Telly Savalas from Memphis has stopped off real quick while they're being chased by the police to... Uh, to get some street vagina from a couple of whores. Mmm. Okay, so that's um, that's Franco Nero's girlfriend, Mosquito's girlfriend. Obviously, that's Memphis. She ran away because it turns out that what they robbed from the jewelry store was actually not jewelry. It was uh, freaking forks and spoons and things. So she's like, I'm not gonna stay with these losers. She took off. Uh oh, what's gonna happen here? Oh man. Oh yeah, party time. Oh man, yeah. Oh, this is a. Uh, I don't think I can show this on YouTube. Wow, oh wow. 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 I'm crazy. Check this out, pal. They're drinking JMB. Isn't this awesome? There's Franco, and that's the. Uh, that's the 12 year old that they kidnapped and uh, they're drinking J&B just like you and I. I love it. This is the kid's first drink of booze. Oh yeah, the hoochie cooch will do that for you, my friend. 
Okay, so we're an hour into the movie. I've paused it to give you uh, my review up until now. This movie went from being fucking badass to being fucking bizarre and disturbing. Namely, uh, because of something that happens uh, towards the hour mark. So here's here's where we are. They, uh, the jewelry uh, sort of went off badly. The police you know, were, were alerted to them. They discovered that the jewels that they thought that they stole were actually... Just forks and spoons and crap. So they're pissed off about that. Franco, Nero, and the boy uh, ran off because they thought that uh, Memphis and the girl had left as well. They found their way to this mansion where this lady is really nice, rich lady. You know, gave them dinner and talked to them. And, you know, um, Mosquito's like, I'm going to seduce her and steal her, you know, emerald earrings, which was his plan. But before that happens, you know what happens? I don't know what the thinking was behind the scene, but we got to a scene where Franco Nero is standing naked in the room, shaving. And in the room next to him, right next to him, in the room, is the little boy. The 12 year old boy is sitting on the bed, watching a naked Franco Nero shave. Now you don't see, you don't see wieners, but you see, uh, you see Django's ass, in case you're interested. Anyway. Django's ass, and his wiener's out. Of course, the boy can see it. Full view of the boy. And they're getting dressed. He's getting dressed. They go, oh, yeah, I'm going to go seduce the lady and steal her earrings. And then Franco Nero leaves. The little boy goes to the same mirror. You know what the little boy does? He gets naked. Yep. 12-year-old kid. Saw a 12-year-old boy's ass. What the fuck? It almost makes me never want to rewatch this movie. But it also makes me want to get a refill. Now I understand why all those Italian movies go with J and B. It makes everything make more sense. Now that's a fine sight. Refill in place. Popcorn still in play. I got plenty left in here. Uh... Let's watch the last portion of Redneck. I'm really hoping there's no more naked little boy butts. There hasn't been any nudity in this, which shocks me. No nudity. What the hell, man? Well, there's been nudity, but there hasn't been any nudity that I wanted to see. Let me put it that way. Okay. Back to back to back to Redneck, which should be called little boy butts. They probably they shouldn't call it that though. Oh. They got caught in a storm. The nice, it changes things up a little bit. It hasn't rained in a while here in California, so I like I like seeing rain in movies. Big fat pig, a lot of mud. Oh, Franco Nero likes mud, right? Django. What the hell? I, I've been watching the movie very carefully, and I don't remember any part of the movie where he would have had a period. Why? Why is Telly Savalas' crotch all bloody? None of this makes any sense to me. Why Why is this crotch all bloody, man? What the fuck just happened? How did that happen? Wow. Jesus H. Fucking Christ. That was a hell of an ending. So, Redneck, um, in the last half of the, I should say the last third of the movie, um, Telly Savalas' character, Memphis, does some pretty despicable things. I mean, he's been doing despicable things throughout the whole movie, but the last half, he does something really despicable that's um, um, very distasteful. But I think it works, you know, to define his character and also define the character of the little boy. There's a, a change that happens in the little boy that's very interesting, very disturbing, but very interesting Luckily, we don't see him naked again. That's the good news. The only bad news I would have is that there's not much in the way of plot here. It's basically bad guys running away from good guys. It's sort of a fugitive story, except we follow, you know, the bad guys this time. Um, it's fine. It's simple. It's nothing that's going to uh, redefine the genre, as it were. Uh, there's almost zero police interaction, so you can't really call it a polizia techie because it's not really a police procedural or anything like that it's just a criminal uh movie now this is uh bolstered by uh, two fine performances by telly savalas and frank Nero. uh without them in it it would just be 
kind of a whatever movie, but they really elevate the material, and they are the reason that I'm giving this one two stars. I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything like that, but um, I'm going with two stars. I was going to go with three, but I really didn't like the uh, the, uh, the the underage nude scene. I thought that was that was really... First of all, it didn't make any sense, and it was completely out of place, and it just it didn't connect to the rest of the story. It just felt shoehorned in for some weird, sick reason, and uh, just uh, it made me uncomfortable. It made me... It made me feel icky, and it really made the movie drop, you know, in terms of quality and in terms of intention, in terms of, like, you know, as a piece of art. It didn't, did, did, that didn't work for me. Have you seen it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you interested in seeing it? Let me know as well. Uh, I'm glad I had this in my collection. I, I do love uh, crime thrillers. Uh, there's some really great writing. There's a really great finale. I'm not going to give anything away, but I really liked... The last, the last uh, maybe ten minutes of the movie is pretty tense, pretty, pretty, pretty powerful stuff. I really enjoyed that, um, but overall, I don't know that I'll be rewatching this anytime soon. And speaking of anytime soon, pal, it looks like we've run out of time. You see, I wanted to watch two movies tonight, but the video is running a little too long, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. Your time is precious. I appreciate that time, and I appreciate you sharing that time with me. So. This video, I normally end with a to be continued, is literally going to be a to be continued. Join me tomorrow for part two of the Police Chatagi double feature, thanks to Dark Force Entertainment. We are going to be watching the uh, hopefully soon to be classic Death Rage with Yul Brenner, so stay tuned for that one. Anyway, I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well, my friend, if you're new here. Please consider subscribing, that would make my day. And if you subscribed, or if you're on the fence about subscribing, at least drop me a thumbs up, that would also make my day. Well, that'll do, pal. I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well. Until we meet again, please remember, I am your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, and I remain to be continued, literally.